Hello and welcome to the 2012-13 Oilers basketball season preview. My name is David Buck and I'm joined by head coach Kate Cummings. Coach, thanks for coming. Thank you, David. Coach, uh, you know, the season is uh, right around the corner. Uh, you know, how's your, how did your team prepare in the off season for this year? Uh, I thought the girls had a really great summer, probably one of the best that we ever had. Um, all 15 players were here this summer training, working out. Um, they, they got in the gym and I see a lot of production in their skill development uh, as well as our speed and our strength. Good. Now, uh, you know, going along with the off season, who uh, kind of really had a standout off season and uh, who do you think uh, will make uh, big strides this year? Uh, I think you're going to see definite differences in Kayla Brown. Uh, she's always been an impact player, uh, but she really has increased her, her scoring ability in a lot of varied ways. Uh, Carly Beasley has kind of come out of the, the depths of freshman class being lost, and uh, you know she, she's pushing for a, a position of either starting or being six man, and she's had a great summer and doing a phenomenal job offensively. Good. Now, uh, you know, we, we mentioned Kayla Brown a little bit. She's a part of a senior class that's been very successful in their career. Uh, the senior class has been to three straight GLIAC tournaments. Uh, they've won two GLIAC South Division titles. You know, what, what makes that senior class so special? Well, you know, anytime you've been through the wars with a group of kids, uh, you've really developed a bond. And, and this group was very fortunate. Their freshman season, uh, we had great leadership out of five seniors that year and uh, made it to the NCAAs for the very first time in program history. So them being a part of that scenario, I think, has really played into their, their willingness to work, uh, their understanding of what it takes to win, and um, you know, being able to win the South title you know, uh, shorthanded that year. Uh, we've been through a lot of adversity. Uh, and this, this fall, you know, the first thing they said is, Coach, you know, we, we want to go to the tournament again. We, we know what that was like as freshmen, and we want to do that again. Good. Now, you, you talked a little bit about the adversity. Um, I know uh, a lot of our viewers are wondering what, what's going on with uh, the former Laura, Laura Bardal. She was uh, married to one of our men's basketball players, and now Laura Peel. Um, how is she recovering from her injury? Well, Laura had an amazing off season. Uh, she was full speed, ready to go. Uh, and then unfortunately, because of uh, her willingness to get out there and go full speed in July, she suffered uh, the same injury on the same ACL. Uh, she went under surgery for the second time uh, two weeks before her wedding. Uh, and any of those people that were at the wedding, she didn't even limp walking down the aisle. So that says a lot about, you know, her ability to recover and work. Uh, she's doing a great job in rehab. She's been running and uh, her goal is to get back mid-season. And, and we're hoping so for her sake even more than the team. Uh, and just to show everybody else that, you know, you, you can face adversity. Uh, you can work through situations that are not the best. Uh, and for her to be able to come back and, and really give something to the program, I think means a lot. Good. Now, uh, your team's going to have a little bit of a different feel this year. Uh, there are going to be a lot of new faces that our fans are going to see this year. You brought in seven new uh, players to the team. Uh, talk a little bit about that recruiting class. Well, it really is an exciting year. Uh, we brought in two transfers. Uh, one uh, suffered a knee injury this spring, and so she actually is going to take a red shirt season to, so that she can heal properly. Uh, the other is a 6'6 transfer from Western Michigan, Andrea Crass. Uh, excited about her, a great young lady. She truly is 6'6, six, six, and sometimes when you say that, you think, well, you know, is this a kid who can't run and she can't shoot? She has it all. She can run, she can catch, she can finish, uh, rebounds the ball fairly well. So we're really excited about having her. A uh, neat situation, her family moved to the area. So while you know, she is a transfer, it's almost like having another local kid on the team. Uh, in addition to those two in the junior class, we have five new freshmen and uh, pretty much one at each position, you could say. Uh, we're seeing major, major strides from all five of them. And uh, I would not be surprised to see almost every one of them on the floor this season. Good. Now, um, talk a little bit about uh, the goals that you set for the team this year. I know uh, as coaches, you guys want to make goals for each year. Uh, you know, what do you hope to accomplish this season? Well, first and foremost, we want to get back to the NCAA tournament. Uh, that was a goal, again, that the, the seniors made and achieved as freshmen. Uh, and, and when you make it to playing in March, it means you've done something. Uh, and what other smaller goals underneath you've accomplished along the way are phenomenal, but to be playing in March is probably our number one goal. Um, 
you know, we've thrown out the term of uh, the Elite Eight, and that's something different that our program has never done. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can. We have what it takes physically. Do we have the other pieces that it takes? And sometimes you have to get a little lucky and stay healthy and those things, but uh, that's what we want to do. And we're talking bigger than just the conference uh, because in order to get to those places, you have to have done the work in the conference as well. So uh, our seniors need to step up. They need to get the job done every day in practice. Uh, and we need to learn to win close games. I think there's a lot of games that could have gone either way last season. And uh, you know, just a free throw here or there, or a defensive series, a defensive rebound can mean the difference. Okay. Well, Coach, uh, you know, thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck this season. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you very much. No problem. That concludes the 2012-13 women's basketball season preview for the University of Finley Oilers. Thanks for watching.